In this fifth video, we're going to be looking at how to convert into a scientific prefix. So we're going to take a standard, either a decimal value or a scientific notation value, and we're going to convert that into a scientific prefix here. So we're going to do this mostly through examples. Um, so the first example I'm going to start with is 0 0.000037. Okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to focus on trying to get a power of 10 on this, that's one of these. Because if we have a power of 10, that's interchangeable with this, okay? For example, from the previous video, I think we used 26.5 gigameters. Well, that's the same as 26.5 times 10 to the 9th meters, because giga and 10 to the 9th are interchangeable. So, I could take that 10 to the 9th and change it back into a gigameter, okay? So, what we're going to do is try to get a power of 10 here. Well, remember that we can write any number, and I'm going to write it in red because I'm adding it, times 10 to the 0. So right now we're on 10 to the 0. So let's kind of play around a little bit with how many places we can move our decimal point. If I went over three decimal places, I'd have 0 0.037. That's not a very typical thing that we would write in a scientific uh, prefix. Usually if we're using a prefix, we want like tens and hundreds of uh, values rather than hundredths or so. So we're going to actually keep going. Now, if I went right there so that I was in scientific notation, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means this is either going to be 10 to the 5th or 10 to the negative 5th, which we'll check on in a second. But there's no 10 to the 5th or 10 to the negative 5th here at all. So what we're going to do is go one more place and go to right there. So we've moved right six places. So now we have 37 times 10, and now at this point hopefully you're starting to get the point where you're like, oh, well this is something small so it should be a negative exponent, so it should be negative 6. But the concrete way to make sure you know how to do that is to once again draw out our number line and say here's 0, here's negative 6, here's 6, okay? Well my decimal place moved to the right, so therefore I moved to the left on the number line, which means I have negative 6. Now that we have, and this should have some units, by the way, so let's say that it's uh, grams to begin with, okay? So if we have this many grams, now we have this many grams, and now all we're going to do is convert this into a prefix. Well, negative 6 down here is micro, so that means we're going to replace and say we have 37 micrograms. That's our answer, okay? Micro is a small unit. We should have a small number of things. This is a small number. Our reasonableness check at least works out to some extent. Okay? Um, so now we're going to look at another one. Um, we're going to do... Yeah. Let's get that in a scientific prefix. So bigger numbers are a little tricky. There's one extra step. We have to remember, as we, when we converted things into scientific notation, that there's actually a decimal point right there. Then again, we can add that 10 to the 0. And the reason we're doing this is because we need to find a power of 10 to convert to. Okay? So, I'm going to again just start moving my decimal place and see how many I can go. If I go three places, that would be the third or negative third, eh, that's not really quite getting me anywhere where it's getting down to a smaller value. So I'm going to keep going three more places. Well, now I'm at a value where it's 13.8. So there's 13.8. And we're going to have times 10 to the something. Well, it's a really big number, so that means we should have a positive exponent. So this should be times 10 to the sixth. Once again, you can see that on the number line. Because if we go to the um, left with our decimal, we go to the right on the number line. So we went from 0 to 6. Okay? So this is, again, we should have had a, a value to begin, or a unit to begin with. Uh, so let's just say that this is meters to begin with. So we have 10 to the 6th meters, 13.8 times 10 to the 6th meters. 10 to the 6th is mega. So we're simply going to replace this with mega. And we have 13.8 mega meters. Once again, our reasonableness check. This is a big value. That's a big value. That makes sense. Also remember that mega means million. So this means 13.8 million meters. Well, this happens to be, there's the thousands, there's the millions. So it is the millions.